Hi guys I welcome you all to this English class Today's session we are going to learn from unit 1 supplementary reader the title is after 20 years and it was written by Ho Henry First we see about the author Ho Henry was born in the year of 1862 and died in the year of 1910 He is a popular American short story writer whose original name is William Sidney Potter his works romanticized the life of ordinary people in new york city his stories are well known throughout the world they expressed the effect of coincidence on character and often had unexpected twists in the end his stories are also noted for their witticism and clever word play Ho Henry's prolific writing period began in the year of 1902 in New York City there he wrote 381 short stories he wrote one story a week for the New York World Sunday magazine for over a year Ho Henry's short story after 20 years was first published in the Sunday edition of the New York World in 1905 The story was included in the 1906 anthology The 4 Million and it has since been republished in many short story collections. A few of his other popular short stories are The Gift of the Maggie, The Cop and the Anthem, The Ransom of Red Chief, A Retrieved Reformation and The Third Ingredient. Okay. What do you expect your close friends to do for you? Yes, obviously we'll expect that our friends should give us a true love and affection, isn't it? Okay, other than that, what are the things will you expect from your friends? Yes, you will expect that they should entertain you and then they should be very faithful to you and then they should give a solution for our problems and they should be a good supporter to us in all the time isn't it okay find out when the international day of friendship is celebrated i think you know answer for this question right yes you are correct international day of friendship is celebrated officially on july 30th okay how is the day celebrated the exchange of friendship day gifts like flowers cards and wristband is a popular tradition of this occasion you know that right yes okay let's get into the story the story after 20 years is about two friends The two men Silky Bob and Jimmy Wells grew up together and they were very close. When they each decided to go different ways, Bob to find his fortune in the west and Jimmy to settle in the New York. They made a promise to each other that they would meet 20 years later at the same restaurant. Let's see what happened when they meet each other. after 20 years in the upcoming story okay yes bob and jimmy wells were best friends when they were young they parted ways as bob wanted to go to the west to make a fortune but jimmy stayed back in the new york city why you know because he was not willing to relocate okay who were best friends Yes you are correct Silky Bob and Jimmy Wells were the best friends Okay so they had a dinner before bidding goodbye to each other they promised to meet each other at the same Big Joe Brady's restaurant where they had a dinner at the same date and the time after 20 years what did they decide to do Yes they each decided to go different ways and not only that they made a promise to each other that they would meet after 20 years 
isn't it? Yes. Okay. What was the name of the restaurant? Yes, you are absolutely correct. The name of the restaurant was Big Joe Brady's Restaurant, isn't it? Yes. Now, Bob retains after 20 years. Has Bob waits near a hardware store where the original restaurant was, he meets a policeman on patrol and explains that he has traveled thousand miles to meet his friend Jimmy Wells. Okay. What story did the man standing near the hardware store tell the passing cop? Yes, he told the policeman that he was waiting for his friend who was expected to come there to meet him. And not only that, it was an appointment made 20 years ago when they parted. Okay? Yes. The policeman notices Bob's fancy watch embellished with diamonds. Then he bids him good night and he returns back to his work. Okay, what did the policeman notice in Bob's wrist? Yes, the policeman noticed a fancy watch embellished with diamonds in Bob's wrist. Isn't it? Yes. Later, a tall man claiming to be Jimmy Wells arrives. The two men start walking together hand in hand. When they reach a drug store illuminated with electric lights, Bob realizes that the tall man is not Jimmy. The tall man reveals his true identity. He says that he is a plain clothes police officer and has come to arrest Bob. Okay, who was the tall man? Yes, you are correct. The tall man was a plain clothes officer. Okay? Yes. Okay, why did he come there? Yes, he came there to arrest Bob instead of Jimmy, isn't it? Yes. Then, he hands Bob a note from Jimmy Wells. Jimmy was the first patrol man Bob had spoken to. Jimmy had recognized Bob as Silky Bob, a criminal wanted by the Chicago Police Department. Okay, what did the tall man give Bob? Yes, he gave a note to Bob and he told that he was asked to give this note to Bob by his friend, Jimmy Wells, who was a patrol man. Okay? Yes. As he does not take pleasure in bringing his friend to justice, he sends another patrol man to arrest him. This story focuses on the reunion of two old friends, Jimmy and Bob. Through their brief encounter, the two explore the theme of friendship, loyalty and trust. Bob's punctuality in keeping his meeting with Jimmy perhaps best demonstrates his loyalty to their friendship. At the same time, Jimmy Wells is a police officer. He is an honest policeman and has maintained his loyalty towards his job. Now we see few glossaries from the textbook. Avenue, a wide street, intricate, complicated, stalwart, physically strong, vicinity, the surrounding area, wits, intelligent people, absurdity, quality of being silly and foolish, reassuringly, making someone feel less doubtful, plodder, one who toils slowly but steadily. Let's see few key points for better understanding. After 20 years, tells the story of two friends. Bob and Jimmy were best friends. Before Bob left to try his luck in the West, he and Jimmy made a pact to meet again 
exactly 20 years later. At the appointed time, Bob waited outside a hardware store. A policeman walked up and asked what he was doing there. Bob explained about their pact and waited for Jimmy Wells. Later, a tall man in plain clothes came to meet Bob. Bob taught him Jimmy Wells. Later, Bob identified that the man he is talking to is not his friend. Actually, Bob learned that the police officer whom he met earlier was Jimmy, his old friend. Since Bob was a criminal wanted by the police, Jimmy Wells did not want to arrest his intimate friend. So, Jimmy Wells has sent another police officer to do the work. Jimmy Wells was a duty conscious. For him, duty was more important than friendship. Okay, children, up to this, the supplementary gets over. Hope you understand. Please go through the story in your textbook for better understanding. Okay? And do all the given assignments. Thank you.